so how will i apply right so that is the topic for today's video First of all, thank you very much for subscribing my channel and if you are not subscribing, please, please, please thumbs up and please subscribe and yes, my name is Joy James Costa and I am an enrolled student of Technical University of Munich and hopefully I will start my journey uh, with QM in this summer session and my classes will be uh, online because of the corona outbreak. So just skip it just skip this story now what is first uh, our story now so our story will be how i can apply uh, in the university right so application procedure of uh, germany uh, series that was uh, what is going now in front of you in youtube from my channel so in this series uh, first video was why you will choose germany right now, second uh, second uh, video was about 12 documents that you have to collect and you have to gather. Um, let me think about it. And all right. So third number was um, uh, how you will find your desired course and desired subject. Um, fourth one was uh, what are the basic differences between different types of universities in Germany. All right. And another one was um, how you will gather all the informations and will uh, collect all the data in an Excel file, right? So let me guess like you have done all of this and now you are trying to apply for the university. So how will you apply, right? So there are uh, four um, kinds of um, um, four kinds of ways that are. Uh, that are available for you for uh, applying in in a Germany German university. So what are they? First one was uh, first one is direct apply. That means you have to collect all the documents like 12 documents from them which are needed for that specific university. Just collect them then, then just notarize them. So what is notarizing? So notarizing means you have to you know uh, go uh, to a lawyer or you know you have to just notarize it you have to it's a legal type of thing and that means legalization that you are uh, like for me like my name is joy james costa and these certificates are mine like so lawyers are capable of doing this notarization just go to any kinds of notarized notarized public or notarized notary lawyer uh, they will actually do it for you the notarized copy of all certificates and letter of motivations what are the documents they have actually required for your application procedure just go through it from that website or the direct website from that specific university and you will find all the data and then collect them and just send it to that specific university through DHL or other any kinds of courier service or parcel service that are pretty much available in your country right so number one was direct admission like direct application procedure no other things will be needed here no third party will be needed here next is uh, through online portal many universities uh, have their own online portal and you just have to upload that notarized copies uh, just scan it and just uh, upload it as a PDF so they have different types of options like like LOM here LOR here just put the, just upload your all the certificates and all the transcripts here so these things are pretty much um, uh, easy like throughout your online um, procedure it's pretty much uh, easy and just scan it just convert it as a PDF and just upload it and just do the rest of the thing so through online is pretty easy just you have to upload the notarized copy or the certificates online as a PDF all right so number one was direct apply number two was online apply right number three is through UniAssist so what is UniAssist so UniAssist so UniAssist uh, is one kind of third party 
they actually collect your documents from you like through online also and also the hard copy have to be sent there uh, by the courier then they collect all your um, certificates once and then you have to just command them that you want to uh, you know apply for this university and please send all my documents uh, to that university so through uni assist it's uh, pretty simple because it actually um, it, 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 it doesn't actually pretty much heavy in the workload and it actually releases the workload for a student because you don't have to apply uh, uh, like regularly randomly and uh, just uh, you have to you know have to send all the documents once and they will do the rest of the thing so through Uniassist, you have to have a account, an account uh, in their online portal, and all right, I will just describe it in another video. Just just remember it through Uniassist. It's one kind of uh, third-party institute that actually collects from you all the documents will be needed, and after that you have to pay them and you have to comment them that I want to uh, apply in this university. Please send all the documents. Okay, just through university universes, it is totally done. So it's that it, it's it's it, it is also that much easy like to like online portal. Like, like fourth one would be through Uniassist and through online portal in the same way. Like in some universities, you have to collect VPD. So what is VPD? Uh, let me um, um, let me give you. A small description okay so VPD is one kind of primary evaluation of your whole journey of education from your uh, from your childhood into your uh, BAC or masters whatever you have uh, done in your previous gra graduation so you have to collect uh, all the documents and just send it to Uniassist and Uniassist will evaluate your uh, profile like you have to convert it in the German scale that means like in Bangladesh our uh, CGPAs are, are graded um, uh, within 1 to 4 that means 4 is the highest the highest one and um, like in India I think it is 10 or 8 whatever it is like German scale is pretty different from other Asian uh, like from uh, from other uh, our countries so Uniassist actually evaluates all, all your um, information uh, throughout your study and then they actually evaluate and sc a score um, that is uh, uh, between I think 1, 2, 3 or 4 and 1 is the best that means our um, in our Bangladesh 4 is the best and in Germany 1 is the best so Uniassist convert its, uh, converts your uh, information um, uh, in a section or in a procedure whatever I can say right? in in that scale right so so Uniassist uh, actually does it and then they actually send you that evaluation report that is called BPD so simply BPD is called um, an evaluation report of your whole educational journey All right now you got your VPD through Uniassist now you have to apply um, through online the fourth one is through online also as well as Uniassist remember it so some of the university actually uh, do this uh, does this thing like you have to apply through Uniassist as well as through um, their online portal too so after getting this VPD you have to upload it into there that means that universities online portal and other documents uh, uh, they are requiring for your apply so that is the uh, whole scenario while you are applying. so let me give some give, give you some examples of different universities and uh, different uh, types of applying posture uh, like direct apply that means the hard copies have to be sent only this uh, applying procedure is applicable for University uh, Julius Maximilian's University Wurzburg. So they actually need just your hard copies of documents. Number second is through online. Okay, 
this category belongs to University of Bayern. Like University of Bayern, just uh, you have to apply through their online portal. That is it. Number three would be through Uniasis. Like through Uniasis, there are like 180 universities in Germany. They actually uh, are related to Uniasis and just through Uniasist, let me give you an example that will be uni Otto von Goethe University at Magdeburg. They just need your that command that just do command Uniasist to send all your uh, documents uh, to them. So that is it. Number four will be through online portal of that specific university and through Uniasis as well that phone number will belong to like TU Munich Technical University of Munich then TU Chemnitz I guess then TU Berlin so this uh, specific universities there are um, there are many universities that actually belongs to this uh, fourth category of applying procedure so you have to get your VPD or you have to uh, upload uh, you have to just uh, command Uniasist once and then you have to again upload the uh, whole thing like whole documents through their online portal so this is the things like four applying procedure uh, that has to be done uh, within your application or applying procedure and please 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 do remember about the deadlines deadlines are must within these deadlines you have to collect your ppd because uh, for getting ppd you might need uh, one month after after your uh, after after applying uh, so just be keep, be careful about it and for um, having the glimpse of what is uh, uniassist keep eye on my next video because i will describe the uniassist procedure and what is uniassist in my next video so this is uh, it for today's video and there are four types of applying procedure just remember it one is direct apply just hard copies have to be sent number second will be uh, through online portal you have to just upload all the documents as a pdf version throughout the throughout that university specific online portal number three would be through uniasis it is one kind of third party institution number four would be through uniasis and through online portal as well so just remember these four kinds of category and well it, it i think it is 99 percent 99.9 percent uh, of all application procedure so just be sure and how will be you sh how how will you can you uh, have that information just go to that that link or just go to your university uh, website there will be all the information available and in germany the universities, the website of university is pretty much enriched with different types of questionnaires and different types of answers and different types of informations regarding or uh, regarding your application procedure. All right, so this is uh, it, and hope you will like it. And if you like it, please subscribe and keep touch with me, keep in touch with me, and I will give you all the informations I will get. And thank you very much. And if you are not a subscriber, please, please, please subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share. And yes, uh, click the bell button. Uh, thank you very much. And keep patience because this corona outbreak is just ruining all my plans. I think all your plans as well. Plus, but pray for the world actually. And thank you very much. Keep eye on my videos.